So here we have the Suzuki SX4 S-Cross Automatic on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. So as you can see, we have plenty of boot space in this car, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase the space even further. And then underneath this tray section, even more space again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 9,596. To the left of that, it will show you what gear the car is currently in, and then we can add uh, trip computer information in that central section by pressing the button on the top right-hand side of the dials. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, and on the right-hand side, cruise control and speed limiter. Just behind the steering wheel, we have the minus and plus paddles. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to do that. And over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So you can access your satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on our website and on our YouTube channel. You can pair up your phone as well. And then we have our various different ways in which we can listen to music in this car. So when it comes to radio, we have FM, AM, and DAB. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. And you can do that via iPod and USB input, an SD memory card slot, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll also see the full color reversing camera with guidelines that let you know what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image being shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. This button turns your air conditioning off or back on again. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.